Yes, it uh, it did end well. I mean, Janil winning the Morocco Rally, I think now for the fourth time, so that's really good for Janil. First time with Alex as well, so uh, the pairing are a good blend for the future. But for the whole team, after the disappointment of yesterday, leading with Nasser and then having a, you know, what was a small problem but stopped the rally, today uh, it seems longer way. So. Yeah, we're really happy. The whole team is upbeat and uh, I haven't seen Bernard yet, but he's leading the stage, so uh, it's all good news. we just got to wait for Fernando. Fernando's progress. This is a steep learning curve. We knew this. Uh, I would have preferred Fernando had he done two races in South Africa and been able to get used to finishing and feeling what it was like to be in the car for four hours. This is a particularly tough rally. Having said that, the experience is there. Whether or not Fernando will feel the benefit of the experience right now, I don't think so. But sure enough, next January, if, uh, if we do the Dakar together, then surely he will uh, benefit from what he's learned this week. Morocco is a tough race. The route itself was extremely tough. The roadbook wasn't precise, so a lot of challenges, and uh, he's come through it. Ah, incredible. You know, I've uh, won this rally three times, but uh, it's been a while since I've, I've won the last one, and it's really great to win this. You know, it's, it's such a challenging event. Um, you know, only five days, but really difficult stages. And we saw the last two days, you know, how many, how quickly things can change. Um, you know, yesterday, from thinking that we we lost the, the chance to win to, you know, to going into the lead, and then today, having a puncture in the stage, and having to change it, you know, not knowing where you are, chasing Carlos and just pushing as hard as we can. Um, and then finally to, to win it is, is really a great feeling, you know. A big thank you to the team, they did a great job the whole week. Well, the whole two weeks here, we tested here for a week before. Um, I think it's a, you know, thank you for, to, to Alex for, for, you know, the first time he was co-driving for me, he did a great job in the car. And, um, yeah, it was just all around a great week for us and for Toyota. And, um, you know, pretty bad Nasser and Matthew yesterday, but at least we could uh, pull it off for the team in there. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Very positive. I think uh, two weeks, one of testing and uh, one racing uh, is one of the toughest races in, in the calendar, the Morocco Rally. So we enter uh, straight in one of the toughest, uh, my first ever rally. And uh, yeah, happy to finish. Obviously, performance-wise, we have some up and downs. Uh, I think there is more potential than what we we show. But uh, yeah, uh, learning from from the difficulties every day and uh, challenging really. Tough for everyone, you know. It's it's, uh, it's been a, a surprise, a nice surprise for me. The the amount of uh, work and how demanding is the rally for everyone in the team, for the cars, uh, for the drivers. Happy, and I congratulate uh, Genil uh, for the win. He has been my biggest help in this uh, training in Namibia in South Africa and now to see him uh, winning here I'm, I'm happy and happy for the team as well did uh, an amazing job. Uh, it was a tough rally uh, luckily uh, Toyota win uh, the rally du Maroc and uh, this is very important uh, for us was the rally already over after day number three uh, when we broke the wishbone. Uh, it's bad luck uh, this uh, this week but uh, okay uh, I think we uh, we did a nice job at last stage and uh, be very happy and uh, I want to thank uh, Toyota, the, all the mechanics, the engineers and uh, especially also Glen Hall and very good. Thank you man, thank you. No problem.
més ample que el nostre. Dic-ho al Serrador i aquell o... Dic-ho a Lucas. Perquè el Peter ja ens ha trobat que baixàvem. I promise it. Have a seat. Hey,